Hey guys, this is Abhishek from GadgetStudios.com and today we are going to do the quick unboxing and full review of the latest phone from Micromax. This is called the Canvas Turbo. This is the latest flagship phone from Micromax after the Canvas 4 launch. And this time they have made certain changes on this device in terms of the overall look and feel. However, in terms of the look and feel, it does look like Canvas 4 as well, at least from the front side. But the back side is totally different. Uh, and we have the package with us for this device as you can see this is how the package looks like again the packaging is also similar to the one which we have seen on canvas 4 this device comes in two colors we have the black blue color basically with us as of now and this is how the box looks like we have a lot more information in the box this time if we take a look over the back side we have the features of the device mentioned so it has got a 1.5 gigahertz quad core processor and this time this is the higher version of processor which we are getting on this device it has the same mediatek 6589 chipset but the processor this time is running on 1.5 gigahertz as compared to the 1.2 gigahertz processor which we have seen on canvas 4 it does support 3g you have 5 inch of high definition display the resolution is 1920 into 1080 you have 2 gb of ram 16 gb of internal memory you have 13 megapixel camera at the back with autofocus support and the secondary front camera is 5 megapixel and it is a fixed focus camera these are the bands for the frequency for the gsm which are supported it supports 3g as well and you have full high definition video recording capable uh, rear camera which can shoot 1080p videos at 30 frames per second we have checked that as well you have jd bean 4.2 running on this device 2000 milliampere battery and we have gps support as well and we will confirm whether this device has magnetic sensor or not it has it listed over here at the back side so it has magnetic gravity proximity and ambit light sensors and these are some other logos for the connectivity and other so let's unbox this and let's take a look what we have in the package so the first thing which we get in the package is the micromax canvas turbo let me just get this device out of this so this is how the device looks like and again the device really look very solid to hold in one hand it has got a metallic aluminium metallic finish basically at the back side again the back cover is non removable on this phone and these parts over here at the top and the bottom they are also non removable and this is how the phone looks like again it does not feel heavy in hand it is quite light I would say in terms of the overall weight and the build quality is actually amazing and it is much better than the canvas 4 which we have seen earlier so we will take a look over the device later on let's take a look what we have in the package so apart from the device we get the standard usb charger with indian pins and the output current from the charger is one ampere i don't know whether you can see it and then we have the flat style in-ear headphones which come within the package they looks like the one which we have seen with canvas 4 as well and this is how the audio look, lead look like as you can see and it is not gold plated and then we have the flat style micro usb to usb cable which comes within the package this one also looks good you get some extra earbuds which come within the package you have the sar value document for this device which is there in the package and the sar values are mentioned over here as you can see and over here here we have the booklet which tells you about this phone has the feature of unlocking the phone with blow to air you have this iFloat booklet this is an application which comes preloaded on this device which will open this kind of a menu with which you can actually run certain application which will be able to run in small pop-up windows and they will keep on running even when you do other things on the device we will explain this later on but we have the user manual for this as well then we get the user manual for the Micromax Canvas Turbo the model number is 25A250 quite thick user manual and then we get the warranty card the warranty statement which comes within the package and these are all the things which come within the package so let's take a look over the device now now here we have the micromax canvas turbo and when we take a look over this device the build quality of this device is quite good and the thickness of the device is also kind of minimal it is only 8.6 millimeter which is again very good uh, in terms of the overall thickness which we have seen in the same price segment phones as well as which have the same display size it has 5 inch of high definition display which gives you around a pixel density of 441 pixels per inch and even if you take a closer look over the display you won't notice any pixelation 
Everything is quite crisp and clear on this display. The brightness levels are also pretty good. Talking about the form factor, this phone is fairly portable to carry in one hand. It will easily fit into your palm because of the rounded edges which we have at the back side which again makes the phone to hold quite easy in hand and it gives you a very good grip as well because of the matte finish back cover which is again non-removable. You have the Micromax branding over here. You have the 13 megapixel camera autofocus supported. You have LED flash over here. You do. You have the secondary mic on this device as well for video recording and noise cancellation uh, at the time of video chat. Then you have the loudspeaker over here at the bottom as you can see and over here you have the power button and the volume rocker which is again both of these buttons are quite accessible and they are metallic buttons not the plastic buttons so at the top we have the micro usb port for data syncing and charging on the left side of the phone on the edge we see two sim trays over here which will accept a micro sim both of them and you do have dual sim functionality supported with the help of these trays over here however one of the slot will support a 3g sim card other one will support 2g sim card in terms of connectivity at the bottom we have another hole for the primary mic for voice calling you have the 3.5mm audio jack for the headphones at the bottom of the phone and if we take a look over the front side we have the earpiece over here you have the front camera which is a 5 megapixel camera on this device you have the proximity and embed light sensors over here i don't know whether you can see them and you have an led notification light as well over here now one thing which we see as a limitation on the micromax canvas turbo is the limited storage you have 16 gb of internal storage and out of which around 12 to 13 gb is available to the user but you do not have the option of expanding the storage on this device with the help of the micro sd memory card now once we take a look over the system information of this phone, the model number of the device is A250 and we have ARM V7 processor on this device clocked at 1.5 GHz. It is a quad core CPU. When it comes to the display, the display resolution is 1080 to 1920 full high definition. You have power VR SGX544 MP as the GPU. When it comes to the sensors, you have all the sensors on this device including the 3-axis accelerometer sensor proximity sensor, light, gyro, magnetic field sensor as well which is normally missing on other Micromax phones as we have seen earlier. Rotation vector sensor is also there, gravity sensor, linear acceleration, orientation sensor and you also have a corrected gyroscope sensor on this device. Now in terms of the overall interface, the overall interface which you see on the device is almost stock Android. There is very little amount of customizations on this device but again the overall interface is quite snappy when you go across home screen or either you go across the app drawer as you can see if we take a look over the notification center it is again in the same way which we see on the android 4.2 jelly bean so let's take a look over the exact version of android this device is running so it is android this is running android 4.2.1 as you can see out of the box let's take a look over the storage as well on the storage it has 16 GB of internal memory out of which around 0.98 GB is actually reserved by the operating system for installing applications although you can also install applications on the user available memory which is around 12.46 GB to be very precise now as far as RAM is concerned you have 2 GB of RAM on this device and out of which around 671 MB of RAM is being used and you get around 1.3 GB of RAM which is available for free in case you want to install more applications in heavy games so quite good free amount of RAM which you get on this device and it does have support for automatic brightness as well as you can see and when it comes to the wallpaper you have support for live wallpapers static wallpapers but video wallpapers by default are not supported again you can make them supported with the help of third party applications under the sound settings we see that you do have audio enhancement option within the sound settings so that you can get better quality of sound through the headphones which are in-ear headphones which are supplied with this device. You also have support for creating a portable Wi-Fi hotspot with the 3G SIM card which you will insert into this device. You can share the internet. You do have support for USB tethering as well and Bluetooth tethering is also supported. Now as far as display is concerned we have IPS LCD display on this device and the display has pretty good viewing angles as you can see the display from extreme viewing angles as well there is no problem when you view it from right or left extreme angles when it comes to the vertical angles you can see the display there might be little amount of color fading but again you can fairly see the display from extreme viewing angles 
Now here we have the phone dialer and we do not see an option of making a video call directly from the phone dialer. However, you have the option of making the call from any of the two SIM card which you can easily select over here. And the messaging application which we see on this device is again stock Android in terms of the overall look and feel. However, the key size is pretty good so you will not face any problem while typing on this device even with thick fingers as well. In case you have, you can always type in the landscape mode as well. When it comes to the continuous input, continuous input is not supported on this device. Now here we have the camera UI and the camera UI is definitely looking different in terms of the overall look and feel. It has been optimized to make it look different. Let me just show you the quality of the front camera. So the front camera is a 5 megapixel camera and it can do a high definition video chat and the video feed which we are getting as of now from the front camera is also pretty good. So you can do a good quality of video chat from the front camera. And when it comes to the photos as well, you can take very good self portrait shot from the front camera. Uh, when we take a look over the back camera, this is how the UI look like or the view look like. Let's take a look over the settings. So as far as settings are concerned, you have face detection, you have self timer, you also have burst shot supported up to 99 shots maximum can be taken at once. The picture size is 13 megapixel maximum. And when we take a look over the other options over here, we do have different modes supported including HDR mode, panorama mode is also there, you have scene detection and you also have smile shot supported. You can also apply different kind of animation on the photos with the GIF animation mode and you do have 3D panorama mode supported on this device. You have an object removal mode as well which is a part of this camera UI. So if we take a look over the settings for the video camera. You do have the option of recording the video in time lapse interval. You can set the video quality. It is set to fine which will record a high definition video at 1080p. And so let me just take the photo of my iPhone 5 as of now and we are taking this photo in an indoor room with some artificial light. Let's find out how the photo look like when we take the photo from the rear camera on this device. It does have tap to focus. It takes like one second to focus. And when you take a shot like this, this is how it is going to look like. And the photo clarity, especially in low light, is pretty good in terms of the details. And the colors are also looking good as you can easily notice in this particular photo which we have just taken. We have also taken some other uh, shots from this camera, from the rear camera, in low light as well as still light. And now we have just loaded our website into the stock Android browser which we get on this device. And it does give you tab, tab browsing option as well. When it comes to kinetic scrolling, there is no problem with the device in terms of browsing. You do have pinch to zoom supported and it is quite fluid as well. Not very smooth I would say. Double tap to zoom does work as you can see. And panning is also supported pretty easily. You can do the panning as well in case you need to. When it comes to playing YouTube videos within the web page, you can play them within this browser. Now on Quadrant, we have got a score of 4697 for this device and this device is run above all the other devices in terms of comparison and we have the detailed score as well for the CPU, memory, input output operation, 2D and 3D and the score which we have got on Intu2 is 11308 for this device when it comes to the ranking this device is ranking in between HTC One X and Samsung Galaxy A2 now the score which we have got on Nina Mark is 33.8 FPS which is again not a, not a very good score but this device can play high, heavy graphic intensive games like Frontline Commando D-Day, Mod Combat 4 and Nova 3 as well but there will be slight graphic lag some of the time whenever you are going to play these games but still this device can play those games. The gaming performance of the device is not too good I would say but it is pretty okay. When it comes to the casual games like Frontline Command uh, like Temple Run, UZ, Subway Surfer, they run perfectly fine on this device without any issues. On multi-touch, this device supports 10.20 touch. Now as far as playing high definition videos are concerned, you can play high definition video on this device on this display, on the Full HD display. Uh, both at 720p as well as at 1080p, there is no issue for any of these two videos at this particular resolution. So here we are running Temple Run OZ on this device to show you the performance of the device when it comes to the casual games. So the overall response on the touchscreen is pretty good I would say, there is no problem. The graphics are not very smooth I would say on this device while playing this game but they are pretty okay to play it. There is a very minute graphic lag which we can notice with 
some frame drops but still the overall game playback is not affected because of that and the sensors on the device are also working well as you can see and touch screen is as responsive as it can be while playing this game now one graphic intensive game which we are going to play on this device is frontline commando d day and let's see how does this device handle this specific game so as far as the touch screen response is concerned it is okay not too good i would say but it is not as smooth as we have seen on other phones and the problem here is not the device it is actually the display the display is full high definition on this device and the overall graphic performance with that particular resolution with the current gpu is not too good so the overall gaming performance is affected especially for the graphic intensive game which we have seen till now apart from that the device is pretty good in terms of the overall performance and for casual games as well it is pretty good now when it comes to the video player which we get on this device you get the same kind of video player which you have seen on micromax canvas 4 with all these features like locking the display whenever you are watching the video you can stretch the video in case you see the black bars above and bottom you can always uh, watch another video as well while playing this video you can play another video as well as you can see you also have the pause on look away feature supported on this device you can enable it from here and you also have these features supported like increasing the volume by swiping your finger like this and you can increase and decrease the brightness of the display when you are watching the video like this you also have this iFlow tray which you can always launch and once you launch this it will open these applications for you the shortcuts for messaging for going to the settings for the video player for the browser and for the phone dialer so you can actually launch these application from this iFlow tray which will be there on the device once you launch it you can directly launch the video player and you can launch the video player like this even when you are dialing a number you can actually watch the video and, and you can also launch the browser as well this way so once you tap over here you can actually launch the browser and this way you can do a lot of things on the device by launching these application within the pop-up windows like when it comes to some pre-installed application which you will get on this device you get a large number of pre-installed application including google chrome which will come pre-installed you also get some application from micromax including fruit devil you have game hub you have other applications like some other games which come pre-installed you also have some micromax related application including the m unlock which you can enable the voice unlock or the blow air to unlock which you would like to see in case you want to enable it you and you also have the wireless input application which will allow you to connect a wireless bluetooth keyboard with this device in case you want to type it on this device with an external keyboard now when it comes to OTG support you do have on the go USB supported on this device as far as the feature is concerned you can connect a flash drive like this with the help of an OTG cable however the OTG cable does not come within the package but once you connect it it will detect the flash drive like this and once it has detected the flash drive you can actually play movies songs from the flash drive again this device does not have the support for the micro SD memory card so this feature will come handy most of the times in case you don't want to load a movie onto this device whenever you are traveling you can load them uh, in a pen drive like this and you can later connect them with the help of OTG cable and play the movie directly on this device some extra gesture related features which we have on this device we have the same kind of gesture features supported on this device as well as we have seen on the micromax canvas 4 including the proximity unlock you can make the device silent whenever you are getting a call you can flip the device like this on a table and it will get silent you can also uh, flip the call to the upside speaker you have all these other features including uh, the proximity answer phone proximity dial phone proximity incoming call so that you can actually move the device close to your ears to pick the call so uh, we will again uh, showcase all these features in a separate video as far as widgets are concerned we do not see any customized widget which has been specifically designed for this phone we see all the stock android widgets which are there on the device 
and you do have GPS navigation supported on this device that means you can use this device for GPS navigation for that make sure you have enabled the GPS satellite options and under GPS satellite options make sure that you enable the GPS EPU assistant assistance and assisted GPS on this device before you can use this device for navigation and unlike other Micromac phone this device has a my magnetic sensor as well so that it will give you a precise information when it comes to navigation so navigation is going to be better on this device as compared to other Micromac phones the overall battery backup which we have got from this device is around one day most of the time during our review and this the battery which we have on this device is a non-removable battery that is a 2000 mAh battery and it gives you around one day of battery backup for normal usage in case you are a heavy user in case you watch a lot of videos you play a lot of heavy games then this device won't give you around one day of battery backup but again you can optimize the battery backup in case you install some power saving applications now in case you don't want to see this floating tray you can always hide it by tap and hold over this icon and this will automatically get hidden so as you can see it has been hidden as you can see we are running a youtube video from our channel as of now and this video is getting played in high definition format and it is playing in full screen without any issues i cannot notice any black bars on the left or right or from the top and bottom and let me just increase the volume as well so that you can get an idea over the overall sound quality and loudness of it as well Overall loudness of the sound. So the overall loudness of the sound which comes out from the loudspeaker is pretty loud, I would say. If not too loud, and because of the placement of the loudspeaker is actually at the back side. So if you place this device like this on a table, the overall sound will get affected because it will get muffled to some extent when you place this device on a table while watching a video. Apart from this, there is no problem with the device. Viewing angles are quite wide when you view the screen from extreme viewing angles while watching a video like this. So that's all from us as far as the full hands-on review of the Micromax Canvas Turbo A250. This device is pretty good in terms of the overall build quality I would say. This is also pretty good in terms of the weight department. It is pretty light being a dual sim android phone and uh, for the price at which it comes, it comes for a price of around 17 to 18 thousand in rupees which is again pretty good for a phone like this. I'm not too sure about the price but it is near to that. When it comes to the camera as well, the camera performance of the device is also pretty good. The back camera does perform uh, good in low light. When it comes to daylight, the performance is really great and we have some camera samples as well. So in case you go want to get more details, you can always read the full review which we are going to post very soon. Apart from this, I would like to say the overall form factor of the phone is also pretty decent. The build quality is good. You have uh, a metal kind of material at the back side. However, we are not sure whether it is aluminium or not. But one thing which we see on this device as far not too good is the battery. The battery is non-removable on this phone and it gives you around one day of battery backup. Apart from this, the uh, non-removable battery is going to cause you a problem in longer term but in the overall performance of this device the device is pretty good the device does perform pretty good on the application level and day-to-day -day usage however the gaming performance of this device the canvas turbo is not too good it can play some high graphic intensive game but you might notice some graphic lag when you play those games but the casual games like temple run 2 subway surfer temple run oz and some other games they will run fine on this device only the graphic games, the high graphic intensive games like Modern Combat 4, Frontline Commando, D-Day and Nova 3, they might show a little amount of frame dropping but still you can play those games on this device. So in all this device is a pretty good value for money I would say. If you are going to use it for day to day usage, if you are a gamer then I won't recommend you this device a lot but again you will get a decent gaming performance on this device. So do let us know if you have any specific question for this device, we would love to help you. You can like this video if this video helped you by clicking the like button below. You can subscribe to our YouTube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching this video. This is Abhishek signing off. Thank you.